Hi, hello guys, welcome to IAS Expert YouTube channel. Today we will know what are the types of banks. Before starting this video, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for latest UPSC videos. So, what are valleys? Valleys are low lying areas of land between two mountain ranges or hills. They can be formed by several processes, including erosion, tectonic activity, and glacial activity. There are several different types of valleys, each with its own unique characteristics and formation process. So these are mountains and the land or the area between the two mountains are called as valleys. So what are the types of valleys? First one is V-shaped valley, second U-shaped valley, third rounded valleys, fourth fluvial valleys, fifth glacial valleys, sixth coastal valleys, seventh canyon valleys, eighth tectonic valleys. So coming to the first one, V-shaped valleys. V-shaped valleys are typically formed by fast flowing streams or rivers that erode the landscape. As the water rushes down the valley, it erodes the sides of valley and creates a distinctive V-shape. These valleys are often found in areas with high rainfall, steep slopes and fast moving water. As you can see in this picture, this is a V-shaped valley. These are the mountains. U-shaped valleys. U-shaped valleys are typically formed by glacial activity. The glaciers erode the sides and bottom of the valley as they move down the slope, creating a distinctive U-shape. These valleys are wider and deeper than V-shaped valleys and often have steep walls. Here is a picture of U-shaped valley. Rounded valleys. Rounded valleys are formed by slow and steady erosion of river or stream over the time. This process creates a more gentle slope and rounded shape as opposed to sharp angles of V and U-shaped valleys. Here is a rounded valley. Fluvial valleys. Fluvial valleys are created by erosive forces of rivers. They are often characterized by meandering streams, oxbow lakes, and flood plains. These valleys are typically found in areas with low relief and low gradient slopes. As you can see in this picture, these are mountains and this is a river, which brings fluvial debris, which forms fluvial valleys. Glacial valleys. Glacial valleys are formed by erosion and excavation of glaciers. These valleys are often U-shaped and can be hundreds of meters depth and kilometers wide. Glacial valleys are found in areas with high relief and steep slope. Here is a glacial valley filled with glaciers. In previous video, we have talked about types of glaciers. Please do check out that video and I will be providing the link in description. So this is the glacial valley. Coastal valleys. Coastal valleys are formed by action of waves, currents and tides along the coast. They can range in size from small inlets to large bays and estuaries. Coastal valleys are formed along the coast and are typically characterized by narrow opening to the sea and steep sides. As you can see in this picture, these are mountain which is U-shaped and as you can see in this side, there is only opening towards sea or ocean. These valleys are called as coastal valleys. Canyon valleys. Canyon valleys are formed by 
erosion of rivers or streams over a long period of time. They are typically characterized by steep walls, narrow floors and deep gorges. Canyons can range in size from few meters to hundreds of kilometers in length. Here is the picture of canyon valley and river. Tectonic valleys. Tectonic valleys are formed by tectonic activity such as earthquakes and volcanic activity. These valleys are often characterized by steep walls and narrow floors. They can range in size from small valleys created by single earthquake to large valleys created by movement of tectonic plates over millions of years. Here is a tectonic valley. The valley created by movement of tectonic plates. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for latest UPSC videos. Thank you.